क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स से इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग वैक्टर अरेन्जमेंट एंड आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट रिलेशन नॉट ए स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वैक्टर डायग्राम वी कैन सी दैट द वैक्टर ए वैक्टर प्लस वैक्टर बी वैक्टर इज इक्वल टू वैक्टर सी वैक्टर दैट इज ए वैक्टर प्लस बी वैक्टर इज इक्वल टू सी वैक्टर वी कैन इजिली आइडेंटिफाई दिस रिलेशन बिकॉज द टेल ऑफ ए वैक्टर and head of a vector is this whereas tail of b vector and head of b vector is this the tail of b vector is connected to head of a vector that is a vector and b vector are connected head to tail whereas the c vector is connected with tail with a vector and head with b vector here c is the resultant and a and b are component vectors dear students therefore the correct answer for this fairly simple question is option number 3 Now let us proceed to the question number twenty-seven. Question number twenty-seven says a particle is projected horizontally from top of a table falls at a horizontal distance x from edge of the table. If x is height of the table, the speed of projection is. Now, dear students, as per the question, from the height of h, a particle is projected with a speed u, which we have to calculate. and as the particle falls down it falls at a distance of x from the table now dear students we can find out the time of flight here in the time of flight will be equal to under root 2h by g here x is the range of the projectile motion which will be equal to u into t as the horizontal component of the velocity would remain constant on substituting the value of t we can write x to be equal to u multiplied by under root 2h by g further u will be equal to x multiplied by g by 2h dear students this makes option number 2 of this question our correct answer let us proceed to the question number 28 question number 28 says for a particle projected with speed 20 meters per second from ground the kinetic energy at top most point on the trajectory is 1 by 4th of the initial kinetic energy the angle of projection from the horizontal is now dear students it is given that at the top most point the kinetic energy that is kinetic energy at the top most point is the 1 by 4th of the initial kinetic energy now if the velocity at the top most point is v1 we can write that half m v1 square is 1 by 4 half m u square which means dear student that v1 is equal to u by 2 where u is the speed of projection now dear students we must know that the maximum height of projection the velocity is only equal to the horizontal component of the initial velocity as the vertical component is zero which means that v1 is equal to u cos theta on comparing equation 1 and equation 2 we can write that u cos theta is equal to u by 2 which means that cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 or theta is equal to 60 degree which makes the option number 3 as a correct answer dear students let us proceed to the question number 29 Question number twenty nine says A B C D F is a regular hexagon as shown in the figure. The length of each side of the hexagon is one meter. The magnitude of O A vector plus O B vector plus O C vector plus O D vector plus O E vector is. Now, dear students, if we analyze this particular expression, which is O A vector plus O B plus O C plus O D plus O E vectors, we can rearrange them and write that O A vector. plus od vector plus ob vector plus oe vector plus oc vector these two expressions are same i have just rearranged these terms now dear students let us analyze the first two terms that is oe vector plus od vector oe vector is this vector whereas od vector is this vector since these are opposite vectors of same magnitude they would yield a zero resultant similarly let us analyze ob vector plus oe vector ob vector is this vector and oe vector is this vector again dear students these are two vectors of equal magnitude and opposite directions 
and hence these two will also lead a zero resultant and hence the final vector would be equal to just oc vector whose magnitude is 1 now dear student therefore the correct answer for this question is option number 1 now let us proceed to question number 30 Question number 30 says a particle of mass m is moving with a uniform speed v on a circular path of radius r. The magnitude of change in acceleration of the particle in going from p1 to p2 is. Now dear students, at point p1, the acceleration of the particle would be simply centripetal acceleration. As the particle is moving with a uniform speed, there is no tangential acceleration. The magnitude of this acceleration a1 would be v square by r. At point p2, the magnitude of the acceleration would be same but the direction would be at an angle of 90 degree with the initial direction. This vector a2 will be equal to v square by r as well. Now, the change in these two vectors can be easily calculated using the formula v square by r square plus v square by r square as these two are mutually perpendicular vector. This will be equal to root 2 v square by r. Dear students, therefore the correct answer for this particular question is option number 4. Now let us proceed to question number 31. 